Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Counterpick. Seeing how popular Irelia is not only in solo queue but also in professional scene, I decided to show you what's behind that hype. Walking straight through a war. Ooh, Zion Spartan putting himself, as you'd say, kind of goal side of West Rice there to get more shots in. West Rice taking a few more shots, is forced to flash, flashes in, he gets down the W, and he's able to close out on a single hand. Number one reason for anyone to pick her in solo queue is that she can carry the game on her own. How well she does is decided during her laning phase. You should focus on two things. Number one, constant poke, and number two, good trades. In order for you to win trades, you need to maintain your level advantage. That means that you need to get wards and push. The thing is, Irelia is one of the best champions for last hitting under tower. Her Q is perfect tool for quick executes with reset. So while she is focused on last hitting, you must continue poking and harassing, or else she will get her health back because of her passive. And while you are at her tower, poking her, the enemy jungler comes. And because you are higher HP than her, behold the 2 second stun. You see where the problem is? She isn't just a pain to deal with in lane, she also screws up the game. Because 1. You need to buy more wards than usually. And 2. Whenever there is Irelia in your game, it's a good idea to be there as either friendly or the enemy jungler. She needs one gank to snowball, but she needs to be ganked once to fall behind. Her traits are always the same. Jump on nearby dying minion, stun, double AA and then back off or finish you with another jump and ultimate. Whenever you are at higher health than her, you are at a disadvantage. Because 2 second stun is painful especially on hyper carries. She will try to trade with you as long as her W is active. You can notice her using W because her blade opens into an X shape. When this happens, get the hell away from her. This Malphite hasn't done so, and so his butt has been handed to him. Her entire kit was designed to be something between Bruiser and Assassin. She has many offensive aspects, but even though it doesn't look like it, she has very few defensive ones. Her reset on Q leads to some amazing jukes. Her passive will reduce up to 40% of any ground control effects if she's near at least 3 champions. That is huge and it stacks up with tenacity. Together with the true damage, she can run through your entire team. However, unless she builds early defensive items, she won't last long in those fights. That's why Irelia usually waits for the right moment to snipe your carries during fights. Almost every Irelia player there is will rush Trinity forth. Once she gets it, that means a huge damage spike for her. It is not very uncommon for Irelia to rush GA after getting some defensive stats. That's because she's most likely getting focused. If you manage to delay her Trinity Force during laning phase, she won't be a huge threat for your team. Picks are kind of obvious. Because she relies on her basic attacks, Jax with Counter Strike and Malphite with attack speed slow will do the job. However, be aware of the true damage that I've shown you earlier. It will hurt even the tankiest of Malphites. Then you have other bruisers that punish you for last hitting near them. Olaf and Renekton. Both of them can escape ganks, and both of them have nice sustain. I could also mention two champions that are good against her, but you need to know how to lane against her properly. Darius and Pantheon can both burst her down before she can do anything. But they are both squishy, and so it will be one of those high risk, high reward scenarios. Also, even though it might sound like a good idea, don't pick squishies, even though if they have amazing sustain and poke. I'm looking at you, Vlad. Her damage and mobility is too good for you to even survive the trades. The only exceptions would be Nidalee and Rise, but even they struggle a little bit. Then you have someone like Chase, he will also have harder times, but that is most likely going to be a skill matchup. That is the same as Zed and Yasuo. Both have great burst and mobility to escape her, but they are too squishy for her. As long as you know her moves, you can pick anything you want, but a good Irelia will win the game if you let her. Hopefully this guide helped you at least a little bit on your way to the top. 
I would love to hear your special tactics to shut down Aurelia. Leave your much appreciated likes and favorites down below, and once again, thank you come again! Cannon engaged! Yamato Cannon online! Enjoy this.